Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today you join me to visit Unplugged Performance to check out some modified Teslas. We're going to be driving the car behind me, a Tesla Model S P100D that has their S Apex package. Yes, you can modify a Tesla. This car has a full wide body, lighter weight wheels, brakes, and a fully retrimmed interior, which really makes this thing look quite spectacular. And in fact, prior to today, I'm not going to lie, I didn't really have my heartstrings grabbed by a Tesla, but this is really pretty cool. So we're going to check it out, go inside as well, see around the workshop see some of the things that they do to these cars before also driving it over to go and check out their secret location and see some very special things later on as well so let's do this then and check out the p100d s apex The lineup that we're looking at here then consists firstly of the Model S, the P100D, which was really the first mainstream Tesla product. Of course, before this came the first generation Roadster, but this was the one that really went big. Then it was followed by the Model X, the larger car, then the Model 3s, of which we have two here. The white car is the standard one. The blue, you can see, has some modifications that we will talk about from Unplugged Performance. But this is the car that I am really intrigued by. So it's a P100D, P for performance, 100 for 100 kilowatt hours, battery D for the dual motor the top spec car that became famous for doing its 0 to 60 mile an hour sprint in just 2.4 seconds this car though is heavily reworked and wait until you see the rear and then really wait until you see the remarkable interior that they have fitted to this so overall it's got a much wider body thanks to new carbon fiber body parts from unplugged performance it's about two or three inches wider than the standard car seamlessly blended in for the front arches also fitted perfectly for the rears as well new look to the lower front end and the rear bumper new wheels significant weight savings are found here as I walk towards it you can see that it's blinked unfolded the mirrors the cars unlocked from the key in my pocket so these new wheels carbon fiber wheels look at this you can literally see the carbon fiber of them and new brakes take a huge amount of mass away from the wheels the unsprung mass so the normal wheels on the car weigh 36 pounds these are about half that then you have the lighter weight brakes as well for a total saving of almost a hundred pounds just from the unsprung mass which translates to about six times that in terms of feel when you're actually driving so the car has these new complete replacement carbon fiber fenders but it also has carbon fiber everywhere and I'm a carbon fiend things like here the housing around the camera the mirror caps the mirror arms the surround around the windows the door handles you name it it is all carbon fiber then when we come around towards the rear, check this out. Larger lip spoiler on the boot, completely reworked lower bumper and diffuser. And normally down here, we'd be looking for the exhaust tailpipes, but of course, electric car. There are no tailpipes to check out on the back of this one. You do have uh, aero here that's functional, coming in through from the rear arches and out besides the tail lights. But check out the interior, come through to this. And if we walk up to the car, it pops out the door handles, unlocks itself, we can have a look at this. Now, one of my complaints experiencing the Teslas before has always been that the interior quality wasn't fully up there, but check this out. You have a carbon fiber finish to the steering wheel. The seats completely retrimmed with leather, with Alcantara, with stitching to all make a significantly more premium interior. And this actually starts to really look the part. The way the doors are also quilted and stitched, linking up with the original trim pieces. This is, this is really, really nice. So we're going to be taking it out for a drive as well to experience what this is like. And while I'm not all that familiar with Teslas, we will try out later on the summon feature. If you're aware of the summon feature, this is literally where you could be standing at one end of the car park and use the app to tell the car to come to you. We're going to do that later on to see how that works. So this, well, we're going to be taking it out shortly. First of all, let's head inside to Unplug Performance because they have some amazing parts back there. Let's go have a look. Just popping through here to the workshop for a moment, there is a Model 3 up on the ramps, which has just had new sway bars installed. So you can see they have literally been done in about a minute while I've been watching. The old one has been taken out, front and rear. They do a lot of springs. Look at how many different parts there are around. And if we just come through here for a second, you can see a new wide body carbon fiber bumper, all the exposed carbon which is pretty cool and also the new brakes new parts this lip is about to go on the car as well the new front lip is going to be installed up onto that model 3 2 which we'll see in a second just like this then the lip is going on at the front of course that adds a lot more aggression and it is this easy bolts in underneath that'll be installed and job done 
It is time then to head on over, but also just quickly have a look at the back of this Model 3. Very cool. We're joining Ben here, the owner of Unplug Hello. Performance, also Zach, the owner of the Model 3. But around the back of this, I just want to show you this quickly before we jump on board. Even the Tesla logo here is red tinted carbon. They've done that every detail. Even this, the P100D logo is all carbon fiber. That must have been a seriously big job. Anyway, we're gonna climb on board here because we're gonna go for a short ride in electrical silence to head from here over towards the other location. Sitting inside, you're always greeted by that huge, huge, huge screen. So I've done a few Tesla videos and experiences in my life, but these things, I mean, you've been driving them for years, right? I've been driving them for quite some time, yeah. But this was all, I think if I'm right, this was all born out of a passion of some modifying to Nissan GTRs and... Absolutely, you know, once a car guy, always a car guy. The passion, <laughs> the passion doesn't change or die, or if anything, it gets better as time goes on. And electric cars are just a new new challenge of how to yeah. enjoy custom car tuning and car culture. Yeah, well, to be honest, I've not seen anything like it, but the interior is so much better than Thank the standard you. car. It's Thanks. really very impressive. We get to have a really good time being creative with the interior. Everyone's different from the next, just like every yep. customer is different. So it's really uh, a creative process that we enjoy. And then, whoa, whoa, okay, I lost my sunglasses. They've gone, they've gone into the back of the car somewhere. Oh, they've been passed back. Thank you, Zach, <laughs> literally. By the way, to our right is a Hyperloop, which is, oh, okay. uh, we're basically in Elon Musk territory right now. We have wow. a Hyperloop test track on the right. and We have the uh, SpaceX rocket here up okay. on our left that, that was the first one that landed itself. Okay. Um, so this is all SpaceX off to our left here and this is where, right. we, where we work. So we just came from our office which is next to Tesla and SpaceX and we're heading over to our auto spa location where we do some uh, car detailing and vinyl wrapping and paint uh -huh. correction and cosmetic work. This is cool. Oh and of course we've got this gigantic panoramic roof which is always fantastic. Yeah this uh, rocket never gets old coming to work every no. day and seeing that. Just casually driving past the SpaceX rocket. And it's cool, you know, sometimes you see this stuff and you think it's a model or a replica. This is the one that actually landed, yeah. so it's pretty the amazing to thing. visualize that coming down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was very special for us when they put that up. Falcon 9. It's a fun place to work. And you can't see it, but across the street over here is the first boring uh, tunnel for the boring company. Oh, really? It's all underground, but it runs about a mile uh, to the west. Okay, okay. So a lot of new technology is happening here. Yeah. And, and that business park is where this car was originally designed. Wow. So the design studio is uh, right next to SpaceX, essentially. Yeah. So it's it's a bit of um, it, it's a bit unique that Tesla designs the cars in this business park, and then we redesign them in the same business park <laughs> and kind of put our own spin on it. But I think that's the thing, right? You can create a car that's more exclusive, more bespoke, more individual. Well, that's our belief. You know, bottom line is is we think that you know car enthusiasts, by their very nature, want something special that's not mass produced. Yeah. And I think you can have your cake and eat it too. You can have a car that has the technology of autopilot and the efficiency is in mass production is still have a custom bespoke interior and yeah. a full carbon fiber wide body and all these cool things that car enthusiasts uh -huh. like. It's possible to have both. I'm not gonna lie, even for, you know, for me, this is really kind of waking me up to Tesla. This is, <laughs> this is like, this is cool. This is exciting. Yeah, this is uh, this is Ferrari leather on the interior, so oh, really? it'll it'll look and wow. feel a bit similar to some of the Ferrari product that you've seen. Nice, nice, nice. And yeah, every interior is different. You know, we've we've done uh, we've done some that are full Alcantara with no leather. You know, we call it the vegan interior. <laughs> and then you know we have ones like this, which are uh, Alcantara and leather and a little bit of diamond stitching. Yeah. Um, but we do a variety of different custom builds. That's the beauty of custom cars is you never make the same thing twice. Yeah. Welcome to the Bulletproof Auto Spa, a bit of a toy shop, which we're gonna have a little look around right now. And in particular, all of those are parts going onto this car, currently having the work done. And I'm quickly gonna show you, the interior is also getting a full blue leather treatment, which is gonna look incredibly nice. Actually, around the back, you can see how all of the parts are fitted and even the boot lip spoiler on this integrated into the main rear hatch. But we have some very, very, very cool other cars to look at, an R35 GTR with 400 pounds of weight saving taken out of that and a full carbon fiber body as you can see even a panel 
through towards the engine there. Complete carbon bodywork. Uh, Model 3 there with some modifications to it as well. GT86, C63, uh, Evo, um, Skyline from the 80s, E30 M3, R35, original Skyline GTR, Ferrari Testarossa, D1 drift car, and an off-road truck at the back as well. Quite an unusual and eclectic mix of cars actually here. For a, uh, a shot also working now on the Teslas. Of course, doing various bits and pieces up towards the other end. But this will get the complete conversion treatment. And I actually think that being able to take it from a relatively, the Tesla, the P100D, starts in a relatively plain looking state. To be able to make it into something like the car that we've just been seeing outside is really, really, really pretty cool. So here's the fender for the wide body. Yeah. Full carbon fender. Have a look, see what okay. you think. Oh wow, that weighs nothing. I can just find the center of gravity on it, one finger, without risking dropping it. That's insane. That weighs literally nothing. And I bet the original stock part is significantly heavier than that. Oh yeah, we're able to save some weight. Yeah, sure. I can imagine. <laughs> The tires at the back here are now 325. The standard on the car is 265. That is significantly wider as a tire that is now worn by the car. Of course, one of the ways to get more performance out of it is more grip. Wider tires, that's obviously gonna help. And back in the car we get then to head back on over up to the other side. In calmness and comfort with the car sitting very, very high. In fact, we might have to demonstrate when we get back how high it actually sits when you have the air. Uh, the suspension lifted. Sure. Just in case you want to have a wide body Model S and go off-roading. Yeah, <laughs> not fully low. Here is the screen then, we've made it back and you can see currently, just for demonstration, we have the suspension in very high mode. So I'm going to step on out and show you guys what this looks like before we can then see the car sitting low. But look how high it allows you to go in the arches. This car is completely in off-roading mode at the moment. And then with the press of the button, let me give a thumbs up so that we can get a, a demo of this. It will be able to sit right back down. Literally watch that dropping all the way down through different modes. Front goes down, then the rear will go down. It will settle itself into a much lower ride height. Looking, of course, much better, I have to say. The experience of this, there we go. Sinking down, sinking down further. This has been quite an eye-opener, actually, discovering a little bit more about this car and I guess the capabilities of an electric car combined with looking much cooler like this. Another thing about it is that this system actually has racing shocks. So despite it being able to raise and lower like that, the car can actually handle an unplugged performance run Tesla Corsa track days for Tesla owners. So imagine groups of Model S's, Model 3's going out to the track, of course, with their stops at the superchargers to charge them back up, but basically electric cars in silence going around a race circuit just with the swooshes of the noises as they fly by through the wind and the tire noise on the tarmac must actually be quite an unusual thing to experience. We are back with the lineup of Model 3 then and in a second we're going to demonstrate the summon functionality on the blue model 3 but before we do the lip spoiler has now been fitted sharpening up the front end of this car also with the tinted lights looking very smart but this car then the summon functionality you might have heard a bit about how this works but imagine the weather was slightly less lovely than it is right now it was pouring with rain and you're at the other side of the car park or the parking lot from your car what you can do using the app which literally Ben is doing at the moment using the app on the phone is summon the car, it will wake up and then it will maneuver from where it was in the parking lot with its hazards on to go and find its owner. There is nobody in this car, it is driving itself, it is steering itself, it is maneuvering and adjusting to basically head straight on over to be within reach to simply just climb in and take it away from there, which is really, that was such a cool demonstration of how summon works. <laughs> I mean, that is, that is the future. Is that not? Next, I, I, how? This doesn't make all that much sense. These things, I, I, it's, it's insane what the Tesla is actually starting to offer. I, I'm, I've, I'm just a little bit mind blown by watching that. And oh, well, we'll see you later. <laughs> no, he's coming back in a second, of course, past the S Apex. But yeah, cool. Congrats on this, by the way, Zach. Oh, looks very nice. Yeah. Looks very nice now, and I'm sure it will be quite a hoot to drive as well. And yeah, just like that. That's really cool, isn't it? Very cool. <laughs> Modern well, technology, you gotta love it. Yeah, you do. And I think that's one of the really interesting things, of course, for me, is just on this topic of, you know, the Tesla normally is quite a, a simple, not particularly exciting car, emotional car. And, you know, doing this kind of conversion over the whole of the car, well, that's 
that makes it quite interesting. And I think if I was buying a Tesla right now, it would be this, this package. Because this car, zero to 60 miles an hour, just over two seconds. What? Those numbers don't make any sense. And look at it, it just looks awesome. It just looks like something more aggressive and more exciting than the standard car, almost to match kind of the supercar performance that it actually offers. Anyway, I've enjoyed my visit today to Unplug Performance, to see this, to see some of the cars as well over where we went to look in the warehouse. Basically, just check out some of the tuning world, the modification world behind Tesla. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Appreciate your support as always. That's it for this time, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.